All right, guys, today is the day we're doing a Pittsburgh Steelers seven-round mock draft. That is based on, right over here, a uh, first-round mock that I did on Monday. So if you want a little more clarification on what's going on in this mock, that will help you a little bit. Uh, the mock was done a week ago, so anything that changed with the draft order, please be uh, gracious with me on that. Would love it if you'd leave me a like and uh, any comments or whatnot, leave a comment and let me know. Um, because as I've always said, you guys know more about your team than I do. I'm just trying to learn and grow so that I can make all the right picks for your team. So help me out in that regard. Otherwise, let's get started. With the 28th pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle, Michigan. Um, as I said in my first round mock, the offense has imploded to a point of, of I don't know exactly what to do. Um, we could have taken Kyle Trask, but I decided I didn't want to put him in the middle of this disaster and um, just kind of ruin him. I don't know exactly what we do, but it felt like we're kind of in rebuild mode with the offense, and I wanted to start with a cornerstone piece at offensive tackle with Jalen Mayfield. With the 60th overall pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Tylen Wallace, wide receiver, Oklahoma State. You know, I, it wasn't that long ago I thought Juju was the, the next big thing. Um, I don't know what exactly happened out there, but nobody is producing right now. Uh, Juju, over the last four weeks or so, is graded out as one of the worst wide receivers in the entire NFL. Um, things are falling apart fast, and, and it's a, a brutal to watch considering how unbelievably talented the defense is. But it is what it is. Um, we got to rebuild this thing, and so we're, we're taking a tackle in Jalen Mayfield and then Tylen Wallace at pick 60. With the 92nd pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Obina Eze, offensive tackle, Memphis. You know, I, Villanueva is a is a talented tackle, but he's he's getting up in age. I don't think he's going to be back next year. Maybe he will. I don't know. I mean, granted, we drafted his replacement, so I guess he's not coming back. But it's not only that. We don't have a lot of talent. So with him gone, we, we don't have talent. Outside of that, Feeler, Hawkins, Banner, Villanueva, all gone, unless we re-sign some of these guys. But again, how much do we invest in these guys that aren't that great to begin with? Uh, uh, Chukwuma Okorafor is in the final year of his contract. We also have DeCastro and Pouncey in the final years of their contracts. So the offensive line is not producing, and everybody's going bye-bye. This is urgent. Uh, I wish we had 15 picks to put toward the offensive line. I would, I would use half of them for that, but... Um, you know, while we are in a, a position where we can still possibly find talent that can produce, I think beyond the third round, you're kind of swinging at, at, at air. So I wanted to capitalize on a tackle one more time before we got past the third round. So so in the top three picks, we're going Jalen Mayfield and Obina Eze. Obviously, for for obvious reasons, we're sticking with the offense. I don't, I, I don't even think we can do enough to completely repair all of this for the offense, but... Um, it's, it's the best I can do with what I have to work with. With the 124th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Shaka Tony, edge rusher, Penn State. Um, probably not going to be the most popular because anytime you have something that's, that's going very well, like arguably the best pass rusher in football in TJ Watt, people don't want to hear about getting somebody else, but, but it's largely a depth thing, right? Uh, Cassius Marsh, Bud Dupree, um, Elliott, all these guys are free agents. And, and we'll probably bring back Elliott. You know, he's, he's doing a decent enough job, I guess, but he's 30 years old. Um, he doesn't have a, a super great track record. Uh, maybe we won't bring back Elliott. That's stupid. Um, Wormley is the guy that I was thinking of. But point is, a lot of guys are leaving. We need to bring in more bodies. And I, and I still think we need to... Um, complement TJ Watt to a better degree so um, you know look a, a strength is a strength only as long as you continue to feed it right if, if you starve it because you're spending all your time trying to fix the offense um, things aren't going to get fixed and we got a lot of guys not just along the defensive uh, not just off the edge but the defensive line the DBs are, are about to get real thin if we don't start investing in that at some point um, we have to keep the fire stoked because it does no good to spend two, three years rebuilding this offense just to have a terrible defense. So, anyways, we're taking uh, Shaka Tony, edge rusher, Penn State. 
With the 185th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Khalil Herbert, running back, Virginia Tech. This is both a, a talent issue as well as a depth issue. Um, I mean, you can kind of make do with whatever running backs. we got bigger issues, but not only are we just not getting much production out of, out of James Conner, who seemed like he was going to be good enough, um, but as, as everything else fell off, the quarterback play, the wide receiver play, the offensive line play, he isn't really overcoming um, those issues. Uh, on top of that, James Conner is a free agent. Trey Edmonds is a free agent. We do have Anthony McFarlane and Benny Snell, who I like. I was a huge Anthony McFarlane fan, but he's not really an every down back. So, uh, you know, the the rule of don't ever pay running backs applies, even if James Conner doesn't um, command a lot of money. Whatever he wants, he's probably not worth it. So, um Ideally, we let him walk. Even if we don't, we're going to need more bodies. But I, I, I would like to invest in the running back position here. So we're going to take Khalil Herbert running back out of Virginia Tech. With the 215th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select JT Daniels, quarterback, USC. Now look, I, realistically, we're not assuming that this is our future quarterback. But it's the seventh round. We might as well take a swing at it. If nothing else, Josh Dobbs is is walking, and I have no intention of repaying him. So we got a new number three. Mason Rudolph is in the final year of his contract. I, maybe, maybe I know there was a point. I don't know if it was last year or earlier this year that Steelers fans were actually super hyped up about Mason Rudolph. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, but um, I mean, I don't know. He's he's he's, he's going to compete as a backup quarterback, and and maybe we strike gold and and find a quarterback because uh, Roethlisberger and Rudolph are probably in the final years, both of them. Well, maybe not Rudolph, but um, after 2021, we have nobody under contract, so we're taking a quarterback. Why not? With the 216th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Tariq Castro-Fields, cornerback, Penn State. Again, it really just comes down to depth. Um, you know, I don't really expect a lot from a seventh round cornerback, but you know, you look at Mike Hilton, Cam Sutton, our uh, free agents after this year, Stephen Nelson, Joe Hayden, free agents after 2021. Again, I understand a lot of these guys are going to get re-signed, but we gotta we gotta get more bodies at the position. So um, that's all we're really doing at this point is, is getting depth at the cornerback position. All right, that's going to do it for the seven-round Pittsburgh Steelers mock. Again, I would love it if you would hit that like button. Leave me any comments that you can. Um, the biggest thing I'd love to know is what the plan is going forward. I don't, I don't really know what we do to fix this, but um, I did my best. Got you some offensive linemen, wide receiver. Quarterback is going to be hanging out there for a while. And maybe, maybe we take a swing in free agency. I don't really know. But um, would love the support there. Uh, if you want to further support the channel, there is a join button. I would appreciate it if you'd consider that. You can uh, join up for different little perks and whatnot. So hit the button, see if there's anything there that interests you. Otherwise, have a good day. Yeah.